I'm Molly Wellman, and this is Five O'Clock Tales. I put this little show together for your enjoyment, and also uh, I don't have really much else to do right now, so I thought I would get on the internet and make you some cocktails and tell you some stories. Uh, I will tell you that um, this show is being produced uh, by my crew here. It happens to be made up of my, um, my cats. <laughs> so I have uh, Charlie over here, he's my director, and Jimmy's on camera, and Tuna has been my assistant, and uh, I'm helping me with my wardrobe and my hair and my makeup. Uh, they're not really that great at their jobs, so you know, bear with us. These are trying times, and like I said, we can have to take what we can get. Uh, if you'd like to help sponsor my show, please do so by giving to my Venmo, which I have listed below, or to our GoFundMe page that will help myself and my employees uh, get through this time of unemployment. And thank you so much. So let's get to it. Um, the first cocktail I thought we would make is a little known cocktail, but it is absolutely delicious and it is strong. And I think we all kind of need a strong drink to start off with, don't you? This cocktail, um, it is has a great story. It was created for a horse race. Now, if you come to Japs, you know that I've made quite a couple cocktails in the past that have been um, inspired or you know, drank and having to do with betting on the ponies and, and whatnot, the Preakness and the Saratoga and, you know, the mint julep, of course. This drink is called the Suburban, and it is named for the Suburban Handicap Race that is run in New York every year and has been since 1884. This drink was made to get to put, to, it was, this drink was put together to celebrate a gentleman named um, James R. Keene. Now, James R. Keene was a millionaire. He was a New York stockbroker millionaire. In the 1800s, he became rich um, investing in all of these crazy mining companies in California, in Nevada during the 1800s, and did pretty well. But his main passion was horse racing. He was known to be to have the greatest lot of horse race, of race horses in the entire world uh, owned by one man. He had this great big farm down in Lexington, Kentucky called Castleton Farm. It's now called Castleton Lion Farm. It's still there. Um, he, it was like the greatest place where the greatest thoroughbreds of all time came out of this farm. So of course he had a drink <laughs> and we're gonna make it. So let's get to it. Are you thirsty? Let's do this. Okay. First thing you're gonna need is a mixing vessel. So if you have a mixing glass, great. If you don't, a pint glass will work or any kind of glass, a mason jar, that'll work. You gotta take what you can get, all right? You're gonna need some rye whiskey and you wanna add an ounce and a half of this. Now, if you're having one of those days and you're really bored and you just don't care, add two ounces. It'll be fine. Okay, you're gonna also need some port wine. Now, you'll just need a half ounce of port, okay? This is um, going to soften it up. It's really, really lovely. And then we're gonna use some rum, some good dark Jamaican rum, rich and lovely. That's gonna add some velvety notes to it. It's so wonderful. And we're going to balance it all out with some bitters. So maybe two dashes of Angostura bitters and a dash of orange bitters just to bring everything together. All right, now add your ice, real simple. And we're gonna stir it up and chill it. Making cocktails at home. <laughs> All right, once that's all nice and chilled, get your strainer. If you don't have a strainer, just use like a spoon, spatula, or one of the slotted spoons will work too. And a cocktail glass, whatever you got and pour it in there. Voila, you have the perfect drink to drink at home while you're stuck inside doing nothing. You will enjoy every bit of it with this drink. You'll be thinking of the ponies and less about the coronavirus. So cheers to you. 
Again, if you'd like to sponsor this little show, please do so with my Venmo, Molly Wellman, or with our GoFundMe page. If not, I will see you tomorrow. Oh, there's my assistant. All right, see you later. Thank you.